morning guys welcome back to the channel it's the day after the big ice storm and today we are cleaning off cars and it's not fun it's almost heavy or almost enough to hold my weight but it's cleaning the cars off without damaging is the fun part so Let's get at her. Six down, 14 more to go. So we've got the cars all cleaned off, well not all cleaned off, but enough to get them moved out of where they are. And uh, Dad's over there, he's going to plow out the front of them so we don't have so much crap to go through. And then uh, we'll get them parked out front. I'm not sure if the camera does it any justice, but you'll notice that uh, the driveway here has probably got a good uh, three quarters to an inch of uh, ice. And uh, we had the salt truck come in this morning and lay a heavy dose of salt and it is working but uh, it'll be a while before that completely thaws out and uh, on Thursday we're expected to get another 45 millimeters of rain and it's supposed to be 48 degrees so that should get rid of whatever is left here and uh, hopefully by then we can clean things up so now on to the next one so remember the 1997 Chevy truck that we were putting the engine in? Well, Tim's about ready to start that up. Let's go take a look. Yep. We got fire. Fire, no fuel. Well, you might have fire at the wrong time, but it still should make it. It should be or kicking or backfire. Yeah. It's not even doing that. Well, there's fuel coming up this far. Well, that's what I did uh, when you uh, were in the washroom. See, the trouble is, it, it shoots it right into the zone, right? Yeah. Or right into the, where the intake would be. And there's lots of pressure right there coming up this far. Is it spraying right out real good? Or is it trickling? Under pressure, it's just kind of spewing out. It really should spray right up in here and almost hit you in the face. I'm not familiar with these spider injection. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there's a light underneath the hood, I think that's probably what that plugs yeah, into. Yeah. I remember now we took it off. Yeah, I remember just as soon as he said it. I was like, oh yeah, smart ass. Well. Yeah, fire and fuel though, I did. Fire and fuel, well, we, we, got, got, we got fuel we got coming fuel up the Schrader. The Schrader and there's lots of spark. At least in number number two cylinder anyway. There's lots so of spark. the only other thing I can think of is if that distributor is 180 out, but like they I said, even sound funny though. They usually wind up and at least backfire. I remember we did that with mine. Oh, yeah, see? There's a puff there. Puff there. So let's, I would say let's uh, try turning 180 degrees to see. Pain in the ass. But... Yeah. I just did it again. Yeah. It, uh, you're in no worse position if you try it, it doesn't work at this point, so I mean. Now, where is it? Distributors. If the distributor, if the distributor firing orders off by 180 degrees, it won't fire, it'll backfire. It's just puffing them. So, if we try and, if we take the distributor out and turn it and put it back down, it should be, we should start out. well, it should be at least closer to, to, to where it was, than where it was. All right, so we got the distributor spun 180, rewired. Let's try her again. Yep. it was at this point during the editing process that I realized I hadn't recorded an ending for this video. So if you guys enjoy what you are watching, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that red subscribe button right down in the bottom corner and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. T-shirts and hoodies are still for sale at bonfire.com. First link in the description box below. And we're bearing down on that 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We gotta reach 1,000 subscribers so I can give away $1,000 cash, only a few days left to do that. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless, let's do it again.